No need to make anything up. Just tell them the truth. Yes, just tell them the truth. We chose early on to tell the story through the police investigation. So the story Susan and Chris tell the police about what has happened over the course of that weekend when the shootings took place. It was all visual style of storytelling. It's quite a journey, this script, where it goes and where their imaginations go. We felt we needed something that would take us out of the strict confines of a procedural police investigation. She was provoked. Provoked. So you say. So she says. So you both say. In the telling of the story, we explore different versions of the truth. We can see both stories playing out, but each person will have a different reality to what happened. And suddenly she says something like, I can't stand it anymore. You know, we're presenting it in a slightly heightened, stylized, impressionistic way, where parts of the set are missing. Often, big areas of the screen are falling away to black to signify areas of the story that are not necessarily included, or maybe they've been forgotten. Hard to explain, really. Is there something you're not telling us, Chris? Will Sharp, he has an extraordinary vision. He's being able to move from a very dramatic tone to a noirish tone. We're concentrating on the characters, on the emotional relationships in a experimental, fantastical way. All I could think of was I want to call my husband. I even said we should call Christopher, he'd know what to do. Susan's point of view makes it an intriguing world to bring into this story. It's very personal. I need you, Chris. It's all wrong without you. Gradually, as the police prod and push on little details that don't seem to add up, Susan and Chris start to fall apart. Susan, are you sure Chris wasn't involved? You said he wouldn't talk. And now he's doing one thing and I'm doing another and we're not together. And then by the end of the story, this dreamlike space that's created by Susan and Chris, Lansing manipulates it into her own version, and it's a shock to them that she can enter it. You have to believe me, this what? is not how it happens. No, it didn't, it didn't happen like this. And we see then the impact that the story falling apart has on Susan and Chris's relationship and how it puts stress on them. Oh, Chris. As people who love stories, they rely on this story being believed. <laughs>